Are you thinking about joining Taxi Music and want to know if it's worth it? In this video, I'm going to talk about my first year using Taxi Music, what I've learned, if I'm renewing, and tips for you if you're just getting started. So I've been a musician for over 15 years, have played guitar, written songs, performed live, I've recorded my music, I've sung backgrounds on other people's music, and I've been around the music industry, especially for independent musicians, for a very long time, over half my life at this point. And I've been creating music in different genres. I love playing acoustic guitar and ukulele and writing songs about my life and my faith. So I've been doing that for a very very long time but recently only in the last year have I started pitching my music for TV and for movies and for commercials and learning that side of the business which is really making music for the TV industry and I've heard my friends talk about taxi music and hadn't really looked into it until about a year ago so I'm going to share what I've learned in the first year of actually using it but I signed up August 30th 2020 and I am now within 30 days of renewing of Taxi Music and so I wanted to share the raw numbers with you. I looked up how many submissions I've used, how many forwards I've gotten, how many returns I've gotten, how many placements I've gotten in the first year using Taxi Music. So I'm sharing that all with you today so buckle up. Here we go. I joined in August 2020 and since then I have uploaded 34 tracks to my profile. I have 70 submissions that have come back with feedback and 12 that are pending right now. So I am waiting to hear back on feedback. The returns from those 70 have been 55. So 55 of those submissions have been returned and not sent on to the client for that listing. 15 forwards out of those 70. So a lot of that is actually um, seven or eight of my Christmas carols have been sent to music libraries for holiday movies and I'm waiting to hear back on that if they want to use that for a placement in holiday movies. So I'm excited about that. I've also had a few indie pop songs that were forwarded for commercials and advertising so I'm waiting to hear back. So those have been forwarded 15 times total out of the 70 submissions that I've heard back from. And as far as placements, I have had zero placements in the first year. And that might seem weird, but if you're just getting into this side of the industry, it can take more than a year to get your first placement um, and really to get your foot in the door with some of these contacts, especially if you're just starting. So I've been making music for a long time, but I was not making music for the TV industry. I was making music that I liked, making music that I thought sounded good, but I'm realizing after I started looking through the listings at what specifically people were asking for, music publishers, music supervisors, what they wanted was not what I was creating. So my music before was unlicensable and unmarketable in that, in that for that use for commercials and TV and music except for my Christmas music which does seem like a really good fit but when I started seeing patterns in what they were asking for I started changing my strategy on how I was songwriting and what I was wanting to create to then pitch to commercials so a lot of my catalog from years and years of playing music was not even ready to pitch. It was not what they were asking for. And so a lot of these came from a handful of tracks really because for each listing I would see what they were looking for, see what matched it, and sent that in. So I have uh, several that were for commercials like I said and then I had several uh, that were Christmas. So I've started writing songs that are more for what they're asking for. And I wanted to share those raw numbers with you to let you know that I haven't had an official placement yet, but that's really common for taxi members to not have a placement in the first year. And I think one of the reasons for that, for me, is that it takes months or years to really land a deal. And sometimes it just takes time and just submitting and finding the right fit for the type of music that you're creating. So I wanted to share 
a little bit about how much it costs to join. So last year when I joined Taxi, it was $299 for the membership to join, and then it cost $5 for each submission. And I like that each submission gets its own feedback. So you are going to get a critique from each submission and know why or why not they forward it on. So they'll let you know why they return it or why they forward it. I think that's really helpful and education wise, this is a gold mine because you're getting feedback from people in the music industry that hear what people are wanting and hear what is getting those placements. They hear the competition. So they are in it right now in the current music industry and they are giving you specific feedback on your song. So I feel like that $5 submission is worth it for the critique and for the feedback. So far I've gotten 55 returns and I've read all the feedback on those. And sometimes I want to yell at the computer. I want to argue, you know, I'm like, what do you mean? It was perfect. Right? Uh, and then I've gotten some forwards, several forwards. And so I've celebrated each one of those forwards because that's an opportunity. That's a possibility. And that means that I'm on the right track because I can see, okay, what was different about that one than another one that didn't make it through. So, it's good for research, it's good for feedback, and then as you're creating more music, you can have that in your mind of what is it that they're wanting, what is it that they you know, said could be changed about it, could be improved, and use that to make the new songs, the new tracks even better. I've really enjoyed having the feedback because I can tweak my strategy in my songwriting and I wanted to share some of the patterns that I've seen in these listings. So Taxi Music sends out an email every single day of what the industry is looking for, of new listings. So you can get on their email list absolutely for free and get listings of what people are looking for right now. So even if you don't join Taxi, go to taxi.com slash industry. You can see what people are asking for today, the listings that are happening this week and this month, and decide for yourself if that kind of music is what you want to create. They give you usually two or three references to YouTube links where you can go and listen to the type of thing that they want. But also I've learned that general language in the lyrics is going to get you a lot further. So not to use specific names, places, brands, or details. They want very general language that could work for a variety of different types of situations. So for example, you don't want to sing about a brown eyed girl if they use it in a TV show and the girl has blue eyes. It could just say your eyes light up a room or there's something about the look in your eyes. You can talk about eyes but see that with the specific color like they're not going to go back in the studio and change that one word. They're just going to go and use another song. So if you use general language like that it's going to be much more likely to be used. So I learned that to start using general language in my lyrics in the songwriting process. And also, you want to describe one mood or emotion throughout the song. You don't want to be scattered and put everything in the kitchen sink into one track. You want to describe one mood, stay in one mood or emotion. It can build, definitely. It can come in and out. You can add really cool production elements to that. But just make it a happy song if it's a happy song or a sad song if it's a sad song and don't be going back and forth and just having all the emotions in one song. So I learned that describing one mood, staying on one topic is very good. A lot of listings ask for positive and happy lyrics so they don't want anything sad or depressing. There's plenty of that in the world. They want stuff that's going to pet people up, that's going to inspire them, that's going to make them want to buy whatever product it is that they're selling in the commercial. And also it's important to pick one genre that you can specialize in and become the best at that, be known for that one thing. And you can build a catalog of similar music so when something does get used, they'll say, hey, do you have some more of that? And you can say, yeah, I've got a whole album or I've got a whole catalog of that style. So early on, I decided to pick a genre and I picked indie pop because I wanted to pitch it to commercials specifically and wanted to dial in on that one style. So that's been really fun for me to create pop music and I created a band with my friend Julie. And so we started co-writing indie pop songs specifically for commercials and that's 
fairly new. We've been writing together for years, but we're writing some worship music, we're writing for me as an artist, talking about motherhood, and so it it wasn't really until about a year ago we started writing specifically for commercials and so we started looking at the listings, looking at the references, writing towards that and producing the songs based on the references and what people wanted to be more likely to get a placement. So I used the feedback from my previous listings uh, to improve as I'm creating more songs and so now I have a whole list in my head of the types of things, kind of like a checklist of you know make sure it fits this and make sure um that it doesn't have anything too specific in the language and make sure that it's fun i'm going for positive and happy and i i think it's taught me a lot about creating music for the tv industry it's just a different way of thinking and so i have learned so much just by looking at the patterns i, I read the emails every day and if it says indie pop then i will click on it and go list I'll go look at the listing, read through the specifics, and if I have something for that, then I'll submit it. So I think it is port important if you become a taxi member to use that to your advantage to watch the taxi TVs, the interviews with people that do this all the time. So you can learn about those patterns and the process and the current industry making music for the TV industry. And also to check the emails and read the emails and to actively submit if it's something that fits your music. So if you just join and don't submit anything, of course you're not going to get any placements. And if you just join and you don't look into the forums or look into Taxi TV or attend the road rally, you're not going to get as much out of it. But if you dig into those resources and show up and use what they're giving you, I think you have such an awesome education as far as what's working in the current music industry. So I feel like the membership fee is worth it because you're investing in yourself as an artist you're investing in that education and you're more likely to take it seriously and to show up and i think it's good that there's a cost per submission so people don't just throw a bunch of stuff out there and send all their songs to every listing it is a commitment but i feel like for five dollars you can get a critique from somebody in the music industry who knows that genre and that is so worth it so if you're creating music and you want to get that feedback you don't have to look up the music supervisors or the music publishers yourself. This is a great way to connect you to them, especially if you have other stuff going on, if you're busy, if you are you know, juggling a job and kids and doing other stuff and music is kind of on the side. They are giving you exactly what people are looking for and a chance to connect with those people. So if your music fits what they want, they will use it, which is something I love about Taxi and love about sync licensing. If your song is good enough, if it is exactly what they want, they will use it. It doesn't matter if you have a big audience or a fan base or followers or likes. None of that matters. If it's a good song, they can use it. And one song, one placement can catapult your career as an artist and it can make money for you up front with sync fees and on the back end with royalties. If you are the songwriter, then you get a writer royalty. And if you're the artist, you get a writer or you get an artist royalty. If you are the copyright owner of the sound recording, then you are due another royalty. And if you own your publishing, then you have another royalty. That's four streams of income plus the upfront sync fees. So really just five. And think about it, if one song got a placement in a year, and was used in an ad that gets a five-figure payout or even a six-figure payout, wouldn't that be worth checking your email every day, sending out a few submissions every every week or every month? I see it as a numbers game. I've heard a lot of people say, you have to put a lot of listings out there, start seeing those patterns and learn what they're looking for. And it could take a year. It could take a couple years to really start building up that momentum, but it only takes one song and only takes one placement. And think about it. When you have one song that is licensable, it can be used over and over and over. So you can license it to hundreds of placements for that one song. And a lot of people do this for a living with instrumental music. That means no vocals, no lyrics, just creating instrumental tracks, and in some cases minimal or sparse with just a few instruments. And so if you are looking into producing tracks and you don't even write lyrics or sing, this is an amazing way to make money and just build it up over time and those royalties will build up over time. So I see so much potential in this. 
that I have decided to renew for Taxi for the second year and I'm going to invest in myself and continue investing in my music because I believe that it really can just take one song or one placement to catapult things. I am continuing to create music that I love, that I enjoy, um, that does fit what they're looking for and it's just a matter of time. I mentioned that I've had 82 submissions so far and my goal for the first year of using Taxi was to make 100 submissions, to really give it a good shot. And so I have been pitching what I have for what the listings are asking for and I still have about 30 days till my one year mark, but uh, it's gonna be close to 100. And so I'm really excited to just put it out there and I'm in it for the long haul, I'm in it for life of creating music and I want it to make money to be able to create more music. I think musicians should get paid for their art and I think this is an incredible way for artists and musicians and songwriters to be able to create music and pitch it and they can be home with their babies. They don't have to be on tour, you don't have to be gone all the time, you don't have to just be waiting around for an artist to cut your music. You can literally create music at home or in home studios or work in other studios and have those files that you can pitch yourself through Taxi or through other sites that do sync licensing and you can get paid for your music that way and then go and create more music. So I think sync licensing is an amazing opportunity for musicians and songwriters. I would recommend you check it out. Check out the listings absolutely for free at taxi.com slash industry and just click on the genre that you're interested in, see what they're looking for, listen to the references and choose for yourself if this is something you're wanting to commit to, if you want to invest in, if you want to try it out. You may not get a placement for the first little while, but don't give up because I have heard so many stories from people that are taxi members that said they did not get their placement in the first year. But kind of like I said, they learned so much about the patterns and saw so much difference in what they were looking for than what they had been creating. And so they made that shift to be creating towards the industry. And so that's what's happened for me in the first year. And I have gotten so excited about sync licensing because I'm like, I see it. I'm not just thinking about what do I wanna write about or what's my style, what's my sound. I can literally just use my creativity within the structure of what they're looking for and be pitching it. So I'm just determined to keep pitching and keep creating music, keep improving, use the feedback and make the changes and then pitch it again and then keep pitching until it gets used. So I am so fired up about it. I'm thankful for a company like Taxi that connects the musicians to the clients, to the music publishers and the music supervisors and to the listings for what they're looking for right now in the current industry. So I would recommend you check it out. My first year to join cost $299 and after a year they sent me a discount for $100 off. So for the second year it's $199. You get a free ticket to their road rally which is panels and interviews with people just like you that are musicians and songwriters that are pitching their music and they share their story. They share how they get started songwriting or how they get started producing, how they got started with their placements and kind of how that's built up over time. That is a theme that it's not an overnight success thing, but it takes time to really hone your craft and get good at it. And it's a numbers game of just keeping on submitting and just knowing some will be returned and won't be the right fit. Some will get forwarded and then some will get used and placed. And once you get those placements, they'll ask you for more and it just builds up over time. So I'm really excited and uh, my goal for the second year of being a taxi member is to start getting placements. So I really believe in the music I'm creating. It is top notch production wise. It can hold up to other things that are being referenced and so I really believe that it can go far and it's just a matter of time and it's about getting the right song to the right person at the right time and that's what Taxi helps you to do. So I hope that this helps you in your decision to join Taxi or to renew with Taxi to see if it's really worth it. 
I think it's worth it for me because I'm in it for the long haul and I'm going to keep creating music and I'm going to keep submitting and I wanted to have this documented so that when one of my songs gets used in a diaper commercial or it gets used in the Olympics or it gets used for something and it's in a Hallmark movie, people will say, oh, well that just happened. No, it didn't because I've been working on this for a very long time. My whole life has brought me to this point, you know what I mean? I've been doing music for a very long time and it's just been a year of pitching to TV and commercials. And so I feel like I'm just getting started in a way, but it's changed my direction and I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next. So I really appreciate you watching this. I would love to hear your comments below. Have you tried Taxi? Are you thinking about joining Taxi? Are you deciding whether to renew with Taxi? Uh, let me know your thoughts and any questions and I would love to chat with you in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon. Make sure to check out the description below for links of things that I've referenced here and for resources for songwriters and musicians. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.